What's up guys, I'm back with another how-to video and this time I'm gonna be talking about the Karma Grip and the audio noise that comes off this thing. But at first I gotta tell you, I'm using the Hero 4 on this and I know there's been a lot of complaints about the Hero 5 and how bad the audio is, but I've had no problems with this for the first month of using this almost every day. I get, as long as there's no wind, um, I've been fighting the wind noise a little bit, but if there's no wind, crisp clear, you can't hear the motors or nothing until a couple days ago. I went out and filmed and I was filming in some wind and I'm not sure if that's what caused it and caused these motors to really have to work hard or something but when I got the footage home suddenly I got this loud hissing noise coming from the motors in the audio and it's terrible. Take a listen to this. So as you can hear there, it's pretty terrible. Uh, it ruined the audio completely, but I was able to fix it using the Adobe products, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. All right guys, so here we are. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. The version I'm using is CC 2015, and I've got my clip already here. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use one that actually has me talking, because most likely if you're trying to clean up your audio, you're probably trying to clean up something where you wanna hear somebody talking or hear the voices. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna pull this down into my timeline, and then I'm gonna right click on it, and we're gonna go up here to Edit Clip and Adobe Audition. All right, guys, now what you guys are seeing here is, I already have this set to automatically show this, but if you don't see this, bright orange and purple and red and stuff here. Go up to view and that's your uh, spectral frequency display. So let's see, it says show that. If I unclick that, it goes back to that. It's probably what you'll see most of the time if you're, if you're first using this. Um, but the reason why we're looking at this is because you can actually see the noise. You see this band of bright color right here? It's constant all the way through. So that's probably our hissing noise. And if I hit play, you can hear the whole clip here. So if you guys watched my video last week where I checked out the White Rib. But now if I highlight just this bright area, I just take my, uh, let, me, let me do that again. I wanna grab it all. I wanna make sure I get up high enough and grab it all right there. And uh, I grab that right there. All right, now if I hit play, it's just gonna play what I've selected there. And sure enough, that's our noise. So I'm gonna hit Control X and that will delete what I've highlighted. And now I wanna select off of this. Make sure you select off of that, like that. And now you can see it's deleted that part. Now let's hit play. My video last week where I checked out the White River and told you guys a little bit about the White River and I told- There you go, hissing is gone. Now I can also go in and probably select some of this other bright color. It may be some other background noise we're hearing there, but it sounds great. You don't want to take off too much because then it'll start uh, distorting your voice. But right now my voice sounds great. It's not distorted, but the hissing's gone. Let's play it again. You guys watched my video last week where I checked out the White River. It's perfect, but the last thing you're going to need to do is save this because it will not apply to Premiere Pro until you hit save. So we hit save there. We'll go back to Premiere Pro, hit play. So if you guys watched my video last week where I checked out the White River and told you guys a little- Fantastic, let's compare it to what it sounded like before without the uh, effects. Watch my video last week where I checked out the White River and told- And with it cleaned up. Where I checked out the White River and told you guys a little bit about the White- And that's it guys, that easy. So I've played with this thing a lot since then in the last couple days and tested it a lot and tried to get it to do it again and I can't. Um, it seems to be fine again. So it's just pretty much that one day, all the clips from that one day have that loud hissing and it hasn't done it since, but at least if it does it again, I know how to get rid of it and now you do too. And I'm curious if this actually works with the noise that's coming into the Hero 5, if it's the same kind of hissing at the same frequency, if it's something you can get rid of using this technique. Um, if this helps you at all, whether you're using the 4 or the 5, let me know, give me a thumbs up, give me a high five, and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!